Welcome back to the food challenge. We are on day 24 and this is the last installment or the last video we're doing on it and we are on the last week so we're getting close. This morning we're just having some fried potatoes with carrot and I threw one of our shallots in there and these are just about done. So what I'm going to do is crack our two eggs in here and then I'm going to put a lid on it, let it cook for just a couple minutes and then we'll be eating breakfast. Breakfast is served and we're just going to put a little bit of our dried parsley on top, and this is ready to go. For lunch, we are on the road today, so we packed some of our canned coleslaw, which is delicious, and we've got some smoked salmon. We just got home, we're gonna make some soup for dinner in the pan. I've got some lard with an onion and a leek, and I also threw some coriander in there to try to toast it up a little bit. Now I'm going to add one half of a really big potato and I'm also going to be adding one big carrot and as far as broth goes we got one chicken broth, one celery stock, we're going to add one can of green beans and then we're going to do some sage and some parsley. Having some leftover soup for breakfast, and I'm going to be adding a little bit of smoked salmon on top, some of our pepperoncinis, and a pickle. It is lunchtime on day 25 of the food challenge, and we are making nachos today. So our first step is I'm going to slice up these two potatoes, and we're going to fry them into some potato chips. Got about half of our chips done. We're gonna go ahead and add our toppings now, or at least some of them. And then we're gonna stick it in the oven and then add the rest of the chips and the rest of the ingredients. And some of the things we're gonna put on this today is some smoked salmon, green salsa, cowboy candy, relish, pepperoncinis, sauerkraut. And for fresh veggies, we're going with a beet, some carrot, and red onion. All right, the nachos are out of the oven. I'm gonna go ahead and add one last layer of the chips and then the rest of the ingredients. We got the beet, carrot, and onions. Cheeseless nachos. For dinner, we are having a burger and fries, but this is not an ordinary burger. This is a potato that we fried to make the bun. We've got a salmon patty with some leeks and some herbs in there. We've got some of our onion, cowboy candy, and a fried egg. On the side for our fries, we got carrot sticks, a pickle, and some sauerkraut. For day 26 breakfast, we're having applesauce with fireweed jelly. And lemon balm, yarrow, and nasturtium tea. For lunch, I'm going to be sauteing some purple potatoes. Now that the potatoes have cooked, I'm going to add some parsnips and onions and bell pepper. Lastly, I'm going to add some brined and smoked salmon and some coriander, tarragon, and parsley. To top it off, I'm going to add some pesto and some of our pickled cauliflower and kohlrabi. For dinner we're going to have soup and I'm starting with some leeks, a potato, and some carrots. I'm going to add in some celery stock and one chicken broth. I'm going to finish it off by adding some sage and coriander. Eric went ahead and added some greens to our soup. Gonna be topping it off with some sauerkraut and some of our green salsa. For breakfast, we are having our leftover soup, and I put some sauerkraut, cowboy candy, relish, and salsa on there. For lunch on day 27 of the food challenge, we are having a salmon salad. We've got beets, 
carrots, pepperoncinis, relish, a can of our smoked salmon, and then I poured some of our cowboy candy liquid on top. For dinner tonight, we're having some roasted veggies. We have some potatoes, some carrots with some sauerkraut and some of our green salsa on top. And then we have some really good looking salmon patties. We use pink salmon, an egg, and some red onion in there. And then on top, we have a beet puree, which is steamed beets, uh, immersion blended with some applesauce. We've got some raw red onion on top. Day 28 of the food challenge for breakfast. We are having some fried potatoes with bell pepper, shallot, red onion, two fried eggs, and a little parsley. And these are topped with sauerkraut and green salsa. For lunch, we are having some smoked salmon and some pickled veggies. We have kohlrabi and daikon radish, and those are sweet pickled. We have sauerkraut, pickled cauliflower, and dill pickles. So tonight for dinner, we're having a really good soup, and I started with some leeks and some shallots, and I sauteed them in some of our lard. Then I added potatoes, carrots, green beans, pasta sauce, and celery stock. And this is a delicious but very hot soup. For breakfast this morning, we're having our leftover soup from last night. We also added fried egg, pepperoncinis, and sauerkraut. For lunch on the food challenge today, we're out ice fishing. We brought some of our smoked salmon. We got some of our coleslaw. If you look right here on the ground, that's going to be dinner later on. Day 29 dinner, as you saw earlier, we actually caught some fish today. So tonight we are eating northern pike, and with it we have some fries. So this is almost fish and chips, but we are using parsnip, carrot, and some purple potato. On the side we have some pickled kohlrabi and radish, a little bit of pickled onion, some pepperoncinis, relish, and green salsa. For breakfast on day 30 of the food challenge, we are having some fried potatoes and in there we also have some carrot, red onion, bell pepper, two fried eggs, We've got a little parsley on there, and I'm also doing some of our dried greens, and this is mostly just leafy greens from the garden that we air dried over the summer. For lunch, we are having some of the pike we caught yesterday, and all I did to this was I put some lard in the pan and I fried it up. Day 30, dinner time. We're gonna get a soup started. Here we have our herbs using coriander and parsley. Got a couple of potatoes. Got a few carrots. Here we have red onion and shallot. Got a bowl of that pike that we caught. It's gonna be a fish soup. We have chicken stock, pasta sauce, a little bit of lard, and our trusty Dutch oven. This is the last day of our food challenge and we had to go on the road to do some errands so we brought applesauce and we also brought some crowberry jam to put inside. For lunch we're having leftover pike soup and it was super awesome last night with that fish in there. It just kind of reminded us of a seafood soup. So for day 31, the last day and the last meal of our food challenge, we're having some mashed potatoes, slice of a dill pickle. We've got some of our salmon patties, and inside those patties we have some onion, some leek, some of our canned greens, salsa, pepperoncinis on top. We're gonna eat this meal, and we will see you guys tomorrow morning.
All right, it is February 1st, and this is our first meal off of our 31 food day challenge. Of course, to start things off, we are having a nice big cup of coffee. We're having some of our bacon. We've got a fried egg, and we've got sourdough pancakes, and we top those with some black currants, banana, pecans, and maple syrup. We're obviously super excited about this meal because we haven't had bread or flour products, and I'm excited to have pancakes, of course, and syrup. During this challenge, you saw a lot of our foods were limited. We definitely went into it with not as much foods as we probably could have had, but all in all, I really didn't get sick of anything. You know, I, we had salmon last night and I would still have, and probably am gonna have salmon today, probably throw in some pork too, but we didn't get sick of anything. We like a lot of pickled foods and we like the veggies. It just would be nice to have a little more of an array. And from here forward, I think we're gonna be adding beans and flour back into the diet for sure and some grains. Definitely, and we're definitely gonna still be having our coffee. And I think the hardest part about this challenge wasn't actually the change in our diet. It was actually filming every single meal, every single day, and trying to keep track of all that footage on our computer and edit these videos and put them together. So all in all, this was a pretty good challenge. It was cool to see that we could actually do it. And it was really cool to go through all of our canned food. And that being said, what was the total we had this month on all of our jarred food? We finished 49 this week and it was 50 last week. So altogether though, it was 194, which is a pretty good dent. We also went through a ton of our carrots, a bunch of our onions, leeks, beets, potatoes. Um, we're still pretty well stocked in the root cellar. Um, I think we did a really good job this year canning enough food to make us through until next gardening season. Yeah, that sounds about right. We have lots of grains and beans and things that we haven't even touched from our grocery trip a while back. So once we start implementing that and the pork back in, I think we should be solid for another two to three months. And then right around May to June is when the fishing and gardening is gonna pick back up. So hopefully we can stretch it out until then. So we hope you guys enjoyed this food challenge as much as we did, and we can't really wait to eat this, so we're gonna go ahead and eat breakfast. Thank you guys again for watching. We really appreciate you following and all the outreach we've had from you guys during this challenge. So with that, we're gonna end, and we will see you guys next time.